Rational expectation hypothesis. Now, in this lecture, we will go ahead and talk about what is rational expectation hypothesis and how it is different from adaptive expectation. Adaptive expectation hypothesis suggested that whatever variable you're talking about whenever you will form expectation about that variable it will depend only on its past values so price today will depend on what was my price expectation yesterday day before yesterday and so on it will only depend on the past values when i talk about rational expectation rational expectation actually goes ahead and it actually makes use of the fact that you will not always make systematic error. You will think rationally. And when you think rationally, you will take into account any kind of policy decision making also. So whatever your environmental variables are, so if the government is changing some supply of money, if it is changing the reserve ratio, you will take everything into account before formulating your expectation. So you will not keep making systematic error. You will make your expectations rational. So let's go ahead and write about this. So please write down here. Individual makes their expectation rationally. and uses all the information available in the environment while formulating expectation. While forming expectation so please try to see this see supposedly i have to go ahead and form expectation about a variable today so let's go ahead and let us take a variable y i have to form its expectation today and let's say that this yt is alpha naught plus alpha 1, y t minus 1. I'll explain this, plus alpha 2, x t minus 1, plus alpha 3, z t minus 1. Just try and understand what I'm saying. I am saying, look, if I have to go ahead and determine the price that exists in my economy today, I have to form expectation about this price. I want to understand what would be the variable y t then this yt is affected, of course, by its own lagged values. It is affected by its own past values. But this yt is also affected by some environmental variables. Let's say yt is the inflation. And inflation is affected by monetary policies. Inflation is affected by foreign exchange rate. So we are saying that it not only depends on its lagged values, but this year's YT will also depend on what has happened in the past related to monetary policy, exchange rate, etc. So on other environmental variables, it will depend on that. Now it says, suppose I have to go ahead and form expectation in period T minus one. About what? About the variable YT. Then 
this is like forming the expectation about the variable yt given all the information that I have access to. But I would have access to what kind of information? Only the information till period t minus 1. Period t is information I don't have. But till period t minus 1, I will have access to all possible information. So I will write here t minus 1. So I am saying given the information till the last period, given the information till date also. So, you know, if I have to form expectation about the price, say on particular day, say 31st December 2020, suppose, then I'm saying that it's, when I'm forming its expectation, what were the information available to me till 30th of December 2020, I will make use of all that relevant information. So, this is what the uh, rational expectation hypothesis is suggesting. So please write down. Write that in case of a rational expectation, expectational error is zero. Let me prove this first, why the error is zero, and then I will tell you when the error will come. So just imagine this equation. And let's say that I have to go ahead and I have to formulate expectation about this variable. So I say, okay, yt is equal to alpha naught plus alpha one, yt minus one plus alpha two, x t minus 1 plus alpha 3 z t minus 1. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take expectation on both sides. These expectations are formed in the period t minus 1. They're about the variable y t. This will be expectation alpha naught plus alpha 1 y t minus 1 plus alpha 2 x t minus 1 plus alpha 3 z t minus 1. This will be expectational value of a constant plus alpha 1 expectational value of yt minus 1 plus alpha 2 expectational value of xt minus 1 plus alpha 3 expectational value of zt minus 1. Now, this is a very important step. In period t minus 1, I would have known the actual value of the variable yt minus 1. In period 2002, I would have known the price that existed in 2002. In period 2022, I know exactly today, if you ask me what's the inflation rate, I will be able to tell you. So I know exactly the price that exists today. So when I formulate the expectation in period t minus 1 about the variable y t minus 1, I will know its exact value. So I will write y t minus 1 here. This is a constant. Its expectation is the constant. Plus alpha 2. Again, in period t minus 1, I would know the exact x t minus 1, whatever this is. If this is foreign exchange rate, if this is the money supply, whatever this variable is, its value in that period, I know its value correctly. So I will be able to formulate the right expectation about it. So it will exactly be the actual value that you give me. Plus, same goes for the last thing. In period t minus 1, if I'm formulating expectation about z t minus 1, I would know its exact value. But wasn't this part the equation of yt? It was. So I say that this is equal to yt. So which means that the expectation that I form about the variable yt in period t minus 1, it is equal to the actual value of yt. So which means that yt minus the expectation of yt this is zero. There is no error that I'm making. So I am able, because I have taken into consideration every possible information while going ahead and formulating this value 
I've already taken into consideration every possible information. Therefore, I know the exact value of this variable and I am making no error. Now, when will I make error? I will make error if there is any unexpected change in the economy. Like for example, just when COVID-19 got launched, everybody was pretty sure that, you know, this is how the market will move. They had formed their expectations accordingly. Now, all of a sudden, there was unexperienced and unpredicted thing, COVID-19. It changed the economy altogether. But you and I didn't predict it. Nobody could predict it. So then that is where we made an expectational error. So as long as, you know, my YT depends on all of these variables, its own lagged value and other information. As long as this information is complete, I know every aspect about this information. I will make no error. When will I make error? I will make error only when there is something which is unpredicted. Something which was not known to me. If government overnight changes the exchange rate, it makes it fixed or the government overnight changes something which I didn't predict, then I will make an expectation error. So please write down. 